Do you have five minutes, my friend? I'm Bible teacher and author Greg Hennett with a brief message about giving God thanks. The most attitude, character, and life-changing verse in the Bible, bar none, is 1 Thessalonians 5.18. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Some translations read here, in all circumstances, or in every situation, or whatever happens. Now this is easy when circumstances are easy, but when circumstances become hard, this becomes very challenging. Yet all the great souls in the Bible, everyone learned to thank God continually. Daniel gave thanks before his God three times every day. David vowed, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Paul, who wrote this text, gave God thanks in even the worst situations, when he was in jail, when he was run out of town, when he was abandoned by his friend, when he was shipwrecked. Such free will offerings of thanksgiving and adversity please God deeply and they refill us with his life and spirit. They also impart his overcoming attitude to us, which we simply must have. Now note how simple this verse is. God just says, hey, give me thanks. He doesn't ask for a Jericho march. He doesn't ask for a roaring hallelujah chorus. And he doesn't ask for us to dance around on the shores of the Red Sea with Miriam and the women of Israel. Just give me thanks. Now here are four reasons for giving thanks. First, it's God's will. In everything give thanks, this, that is, thanksgiving, is the will of God in Christ concerning you. The thankful Christian is God's will incarnate and his delight. The habit of thanksgiving, secondly, breaks the habit of complaining, which God hates. The only way to end a bad habit is to form a new habit. Thirdly, every situation that we meet is part of God's will or plan for us. In everything give thanks, this, that is this situation, is God's will in Christ Jesus concerning you. It's sent to bless us, it's sent to correct us, or it's sent to challenge us to rise higher in Christ. Challenging situations, while they're not pleasant, nevertheless have great benefit. They mature us, they transform us into Christ's image, they prepare us for His coming. Fourthly, thanking God strengthens our faith. By thanking God in every circumstance, we acknowledge His presence, His hand, and His control in every circumstance. In all thy ways, acknowledge Him, says Proverbs 3, verse 6. This reassures us that God is always with us. He's our refuge and strength, our very present help in trouble. So give God thanks in every circumstance whether it's good, bad, or in between. When your prayers are answered quickly, thank Him. When they're delayed, thank Him. He's going to teach you patience. When God does as you ask, thank Him. When He overrules you, thank Him. He's going to do something better in His wisdom and love. When friends support you, thank Him. When they turn away or even betray you, thank Him. The difficulty is going to drive you closer to the friend that sticks closer than a brother. When your income increases, thank Him. When it decreases, thank Him. You're going to see God's hand providing for you in new ways. When you're healthy, thank Him. When you're sick, thank Him. Job did this and we have the same grace. When your days are quiet and mundane and boring, thank Him. When your days are busy or even hectic, thank Him. He's going to teach you to become better organized. When your business, church, or ministry grows, thank Him. When it's stagnant or even shrinking, thank Him. Habakkuk did this when it seemed his whole world was coming down around him. This giving of thanks in all things will gradually change your attitude, your character, your life. Giving thanks in every situation brings God into every situation. And with Him, His presence, His wisdom, His strength, His grace, His peace, His victories, and mostly His pleasure and His honor. So, hey... Let the offering begin. Why wait today, just where you are? Raise your hands and begin to give thanks to God in every situation. Whatever is happening, give Him this sacrifice and you'll immediately reap His blessing. Thank you for taking the time to um, listen to this devotional. I pray it's been timely for you. God bless you.